beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful twin flame reading i do hope you're all well and you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you so today i'm going to be bringing in the sacred destiny oracle deck and i'm going to be using the twin flame power oracle deck that i created too i will get messages from your other self from your twin flame and at the end, I'll be getting messages from God, the universe, the angels, to see what it is that you need to know about your journey um, today. So let's see what's coming through with the Sacred Destiny, first of all. Thank you so much to all of you for the lovely support that you give me. I am so very grateful to each one of you for pressing that donation button, that thank you button, for taking the time out of your day to actually comment and share your love and support with me and for showing up and actually listening to my feed. Um, my readings um, it means so much so what is coming through what are the current energies for twin flames and how are these energies supporting you beautiful soul that's watching and know that whatever's coming through in this reading and whatever's going on um, within you that is also happening for your twin flame because you're one energy you're one soul um, it may be through different lessons, different experiences, but you're, you're facing the same thing within yourself um, because of the one energy. So let's see what is coming through. Nice, clear message, please. What are the current energies for twin flames and how are these energies supporting you? voyage journey and we have that moon in the background there which is we are getting closer now to that full moon in gemini um it's just under a week away so <laughs> there is movement on your journey there's a lot of change that's actually occurring right now and this is about acceptance of the journey that you're actually on as well and acceptance did come through in yesterday's energy um yesterday's reading so voyage and going forwards yeah there is movement however it seems to you you are moving forwards on your journey um you're going forwards and where you're going is so bright and beautiful and it may not seem it right now or feel it right now that's because you know you're going deep within because you're facing things within yourself um and you know learning to actually um be comfortable with stillness to be still to be actually with you on your journey but all that is movement that is change um and everything that as it is right now is bright and beautiful when you have the right perception and you're you know coming from your truth of who you truly are everything around you right now everything that's happening right now is how it's meant to be and is always bright and beautiful when you have um, the right vision the your perception um, is with truth release yeah deep releasing and this week um, if you haven't checked out the weekly reading go and check that out because it is this deep purification very very deep purification there's some more clearing there is more releasing that you're currently doing and everything is being illuminated illumination <laughs> um, things are being revealed to you that maybe you wasn't aware of within yourself and things that are going on around you as well you're finding things out um so it's quite uncomfortable and challenging going through this release in this purification but it's you moving and your ego may be coming in and saying you know you're going backwards here everything's you know just going wrong for me but that isn't the truth Things have been illuminated, those deep emotions, deep things, you know, things that you've believed, you know, the old programming, all of those things, it's all coming up for you. And different circumstances, different situations that you're being put in is giving you the opportunity to approach things differently from your truth of who you are. Acceptance of being on this journey, which I mentioned at the beginning, not fighting this. I'm trying to escape this journey, facing it. So let's see what comes through the Twin Flame Power Oracle. 
what else is coming through for this energy today for twin flames and how are these energies supporting the beautiful soul that's watching acceptance of this journey everything feel very still and nothing's actually happening but again that's pushing you to um, get used to that to be with yourself to show up for yourself to support yourself during this releasing to be on your side <laughs> not to um, be hard on yourself to blame yourself to be against yourself thinking that it's, everything's your fault and um, yeah and everything outside of you you know blaming everything that is outside of you you're being forced to change that to move forwards in your truth releasing those old beliefs programming and let's see what else comes from embracing yeah embrace it learning to embrace this journey not fighting it adversity difficulty <laughs> and we've got number two here which is zero in front of the number two which is eternal love and two is partnership coming together co-creating working with god and we have 39 here as well which that's up to 12. three is strong faith and nine is near, near end of a cycle completion um and the cards are really wanting to all of them to come out actually <laughs> Um, so gratitude, yeah, gratitude, 45, which adds up to nine again, near end of cycle completion. Um, something is coming to an end. So there's more releasing that's happening right now. This purification, four is building on solid foundation and five is movement and change, which I mentioned. So you could be seeing the fours, the fives and the nines that's come through in this reading. And... Um, to build on solid foundation, gratitude, feeling this gratitude to actually be on this journey. Um, to be grateful for where you are right now, be, to be grateful for this releasing, to be grateful for this, you know, the, this adversity, this difficulty, because all of it is supporting you and helping you shift to where you're meant to be and where you actually want to be. Um, and communication, yeah, learning to communicate to yourself, supporting yourself, talking to yourself from the truth of who you really are, not to be against yourself, as I said. And it's number 50, so a five again coming through, and zero, eternal love. And communication, um, learning to communicate to the universe, to God, to the angels so differently, with gratitude. Before you're actually opening yourself up and praying and asking for help, actually saying, thank you for helping me with this. Thank you, universe, um, for supporting me in this difficult time. And communication to other people that you know are around you as well, changing what you're actually saying. Being aware, is it coming from this place of gratitude? Being the unconditional love that you are, or is it coming from this place of fear? Um, so there's some difficulty that's going on you're facing right now. But there's nothing to fear because it is you moving forwards by facing it. And to be grateful for this situation, whatever it is that's coming up for you. It could be, you know, left, right and centre where every area of your life is just like, oh my goodness. It, this is really full on. And it feels as if you're going backwards or it feels as if everything's still and nothing is actually happening. That isn't the truth. You're being asked to embrace the releasing, to embrace the stillness, because that is movement forwards. So let's see what your twin would love to show next. So, so I'm going to see what comes through from the Divine Feminines. First of all, the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. So this is just energy that I'm speaking about. So don't take it personally. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. You could be male or female um, that's watching. So here's the beautiful deck I'm using. Divine Feminine Message Tarot from Beautiful Liz from Guide by Angels. So what is the message the Divine Feminine would love to show and express in this energy today to the Divine Masculines? Nice clear message please, Divine Feminines. What's coming through? Wheel of Fortune, the universe has got my back. Learning, the Divine Feminines are learning that the universe has always got their back. <laughs> that they haven't got anything to fear. That they're not 
on their own. Learning, learning to work with God, the universe, the angels, whatever word resonates. And they want you to know divine masculine, hmm. that the universe has always got their back. And I'm learning to go within for the answers. Yeah, hermit, still. <laughs> learning to go within for fulfillment, to be with you, divine feminines. And five of wands, I'm no longer taking things personally or getting involved in drama. I'm not getting caught up in this drama anymore. I'm understanding on a deeper level, because I've been so deep within, that this releasing is um, all part of this journey and it's moving me to where I'm meant to be. That's what I want you to know, Divine Masculines. I'm not taking things personally anymore because I know that the universe has always got my back and Wheel of Fortune is about new beginnings, stepping into that new beginning. Things are changing all the time for the Divine Feminines and Seven of Pentacles, I set my intentions and know that they are manifesting, yeah, because the universe has always got my back. I'm learning to always set pure intentions to be in my heart space and and I'm believing in my manifestations. So let's see what the Divine Muskin would love to share and express to the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to be using the Divine Muskin Honesty and Realizations from beautiful Sandra from World Illuminator 11. What is it the Divine Muskin would love to share and express in this energy? What's coming through today, Divine Muskin? What is it you would love to share and express to the Divine Feminine? Nice, clear message. Lots of shifting going on. Ego, yeah, they're dealing with the ego. Many times I get so lost in my thoughts and fears and I get stuck in my old ways because of my ego. I'm really trying to free myself from this prison of fear that my ego put puts me in. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the ego is at play at the moment um, for the divine masculine and the divine feminine. But they're learning to deal with things differently. And your divine masculine, divine feminine is saying, you know, I'm very aware that my ego has been controlling me. Um, and passion, I feel so much passion for you. Like this is an endless fire that burns inside of me. I can't wait to hold you in my arms and show you just how much you mean to me. Yeah, that's all I want. And that's why I'm being forced to deal with my ego. Because I don't want my ego to keep me in this fear, this pain, this discomfort. Um, and I've got lots going on and there's a lot of difficulties that I'm facing. But I'm learning to embrace it. I'm releasing um, so many layers of conditioning, programming um, of what I believed about myself because of fear. And inspiring you have helped me more than you even realize by inspiring me to do better and making positive changes in my life yeah you've helped me more than you know and you are so inspirational and that's why it's so important divine feminines if you're a divine feminine that's watching that you keep shining your light remaining in your truth because you are the spiritual leader um and lost I feel, I feel lost in my life right now. I'm working on finding my way again, yeah. And the only way that I'm going to find my way is by dealing with this ego, this fear that's been in the way. But I'm feeling this passion, this desire for my divine feminine. And I'm so grateful. There we go, gratitude that we have under here. I'm so grateful for my divine feminine because you have awakened me. <laughs> um, and you give me the strength the courage to face my deepest inner fears. Um, so yeah, keep shining your light, Divine Feminines. And yeah, it's a, today, what's coming through, even though it, <laughs> the words sound as if it's doom and gloom because of the ego, how we perceive things, it's not. It's a celebration because the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are really facing themselves and learning to embrace you know, different things that life are, you know, throwing at them at this time and knowing that, you know, you're not going backwards, you're going forwards by going through this process of releasing this purification. Um, so 
beautiful. So next I'm going to use the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. It's a very old deck to get messages from God, the universe, the angels. This, here's the beautiful deck with the key on it. Um, so what is it that God, the universe, the angels want you to know? Beautiful soul that's watching. What is the update on your twin flame journey? Um, so it is, it is quite a, a struggle that's coming through. But the awareness is the key. That is the treasure. And the divine masculine and the divine feminines have this awareness. Um, even though there is discomfort, there is struggle, you know that God, the universe, the angels are <laughs> giving you the strength and um, has always got your back, which, which comes through with the divine feminine. So let's see what's coming through. Inner strength, yeah. Everything that you're going through right now is, <laughs> you know, you're, you're gaining strength, you're growing. You're learning so much about yourself and you've been given so many opportunities to put love into the situation, to really show up for yourself and to come from soul instead of ego. And the message is you have a divine power flowing through and all around you. It's now time to call forth your true inner strength and move forwards fearlessly. And the action to take is focus on your inner strength and move forwards fearlessly. You have the full support of the universe to help you, guide and support you through any situations. You are a powerful being of light and a powerful creator. It's okay to feel sad, negative thoughts. The key is to find a peace with where you are now. To try and forgive any person, action, who may be caught up with this situation. Remember, nothing is personal. Forgiveness and compassion is the key here. And the powerful affirmation is, I call forth my divine strength and move forwards fearlessly. So that's really on point, isn't it? <laughs> and choice we have at the bottom of the deck. And I'm not going to read that message because this is what you need to hear <laughs> right now. And you do have a choice. You can have either get caught up in the fear and feed the fear, or you can feed into love. <laughs> and love is the way forwards. Um, and that's where you get the strength from. And as I've said through this reading, it's about you supporting yourself, being your own best friend through this releasing, through these different situations that are coming up to be with you instead of against yourself and beating yourself out and thinking i'm no good at this or you know blaming yourself and feeling this failure all of those things and to make make friends to make peace with those lower um energies as well not to be afraid of them allowing yourself to feel and putting love into that situation as well <laughs> um so i do hope that this has supported you and it's it's made you feel peace and it's made you actually smile um, and feel safe because there is nothing to, to be frightened of. You are being so supported and you are always protected and you're never given anything that you cannot handle. <laughs> so if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.